there are a lot of amazing opportunities in the province of Nova Scotia in Canada. I have previously shared here a lot of opp opportunities in Canada, mostly in Nova Scotia before and also in Saskatchewan. So today I want to share with you a very amazing pathway I came along in Nova Scotia and these opportunities are very amazing because they are recruiting foreign and overseas workers from all over the world and also their requirements are quite quite good requirements in the previous video that i posted about ireland someone was asking if there are any opportunities where they can move to ireland as um under the hospitality sector and today i want to present to, to you those opportunities because the province of nova scotia in canada has very amazing opportunities in what we call the demand jobs that are in the province of nova scotia you'll find very amazing opportunities here opportunities like uh, uh, in the hospitality industry opportunities for beverage servers baristas and whatnot so it is not necessarily a uh, skilled visa skilled workers alone but also unskilled workers that is why guys i tell you be very hopeful and be very open-minded because some of these places are very open to unskilled workers or low skilled workers let no one lie to you and discourage you uh, because just that sometimes you feel like your career is not that very highly skilled comparing to doctors engineering and accountants that you'll not get a job there are a lot of opportunities the pie is very big for everyone i tell myself and i share with each and everyone who is willing to listen that this world has a lot of untapped opportunities people are moving to these countries as truck drivers in the hospitality industries as coffee makers that is as baristas and each and everything even hotel keepers and housekeepers and caregivers and nannies so that province of nova scotia has these opportunities and they are very in high demand and that is what i want to share with you i'll be sharing my screen with you and showing you what is required of you if you're coming across my video for the first time my name is candy i share information and matters to relocate abroad through jobs that give visa sponsorship and relocation on study and even conferences if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here i really value and appreciate you remember to like and share this content with your family and friends who are looking for information to move abroad you will help me grow this community guys once you share my video with people you will help youtube recommend my videos to more and more people who are looking for this information thank you so much to each and every person who loves my content who shares my content i really do not take it for granted i upload each and every day at 12 pm so be sure to check out my content and please turn on the notification bell so that anytime i upload you are updated under this category in nova scotia you just require and the requirements are very very low they actually do not need or the highest qualification they're looking for is a high school diploma is a high school diploma or what we call a high school certificate they are also looking for diploma holders and the age and the qualification for you to move to nova scotia under this route you just need to be between 21 to 55 years you do not need to prove any english or to do an english proficiency test so if these are the kind of opportunities they are looking for for low skilled workers then i'll say watch until the end of the video canada has a lot of opportunities if you have watched my videos before i will link them on the description box you know i have shared information where you can move to canada as a truck driver to as a mechanic in canada canada has a lot a lot of, of untapped opportunities i know sometimes it is very difficult to move to places like canada because definitely there have been a lot of politics and people moving to Canada with um, um, with uh, people moving to Canada with visitor visa and being stranded in Canada and that is why I say guys please try your best not to use agents when you're moving to these countries and if you're using agents please be sure that these guys once you land in Canada they will help and sort you to get a job because it is very bad and people are really 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 tarnishing some countries and some countries are getting uh, red listed because you move to Canada or any country with a visitor visa and once you get there you try to secure a job and you'll not be able to get a job and you end up in the streets and that is what sometimes I want to share this information with you guys because I want do not want you to be in these situations 
so guys there are a lot of opportunities all over the world canada has a lot of provinces and if you look for jobs and provinces like uh, saskatchewan nova scotia and also new brunswick those are provinces in canada that are mostly looking for high skilled low skilled or unskilled workers so let me share my screen with you and show you what all these opportunities in the province of nova scotia is about so the Nova Scotia Immigration, and this is their uh, website for the province of Nova Scotia, Occupations in Demand, the Occupations in Demand stream target specific to category 3, 4, and 5 occupations of the National Occupation Classification that are in high labor market demand in Nova Scotia. Labor skills and immigration identifies occupations in demand based on labor market information and eligible occupations are subject to change. So I want us to look at what is the eligibility criteria for for you to be or for you to apply for these kind of opportunities one for you to apply you must have a full-time permanent job offer from an Scotia employer in Aether, and these are the codes for this job nurses food and beverage servers food counter attendants kitchen helpers and related support occupations light duty cleaners transport truck drivers heavy equipment operators construction traders helpers and laborers and you also need to have one year work experience be 21 to 55 years old have a high school diploma guys you can see the way these things are very simple have the appropriate training skills and or accreditation for the job proven language ability equal to canadian language be benchmark clb level four uh, if, even if your first language is english or french show enough financial resources to successfully settle in nova scotia how to apply and i want us to look at how to apply in the application guide because this will help you and you will know how to apply for this job and what is needed for you to apply to move to nova scotia under these jobs and these categories and what they have said they are hiring and they are, it is in demand in the province of nova scotia so I will very quickly, I want us to look at the application guide because I know it is a very big document. I'll not actually touch on everything at your own free time. I'd want you to come and research and find out what works for you because I know it is can, it can be very, very complex. And so the, the occupations in demand stream application guide, the Nova Scotia nominee program. I want you to guys at your own free time, please come and read the content of this a document because that is what will guide you when you're applying for these jobs. There's a lot of information here. I cannot go through all of it today and right now, but I feel like if these are the kind of opportunities you're looking for, whether as an asset, whether as a cleaner, whether as a kitchen helper, whether as a food and beverage server, these are what you need. The occupations in demand be, may be right for you and they're asking what uh, they're telling you what you require and they may not be right for you and they're telling you why you do not qualify or what why these kind of jobs will not be uh, eligible you'll not be eligible for so it's a very big document it is more than i think 20 pages are uh, documents at your own free time it is a guide of how you'll know if you qualify and if you want to actually apply for these kind of jobs is the occupations in demand stream right for the job you are applying for as an uh, as an uh, uh, employee you need also to read on that so that you know does the job offer qualify for this stream so once you get your jobs or once you actually go through this document you'll know if you'll try and find jobs if you want to move to canada or to specifically nova scotia under this route i also want us to look on how you can apply online for these kind of opportunities because i want us to look at what is required so how you can apply online you will click at the nova scotia nominee program and um the nova scotia nominee program is designed for individuals who are prospective immigrants and have skills and experience targeted by the province of nova scotia so the application process is actually 60 minutes that's one hour it is not very complex what one one what you need you need to create an account to fill an application form print a copy of your record that is before you send before you click send send application you actually print all the copy of your records application and attachments are not vi uh, viewable after submission so before you submit print and copy all of the documents you're given also or you've you're given you've given them that is attach supporting document documentation submit and wait to hear from us and it takes up to three months because definitely there are lots and lots of people who apply for these jobs if these are the kind of opportunities you're looking out for there are endless and endless possibilities as i always say these countries have a lot to offer 
and it is there are a lot of opportunities and that is why i never want you guys to miss out on these opportunities because i know and i feel these are opportunities that can benefit if not all of you some of you if not some of you most of you i always want to share these opportunities at least if i help one person that will actually and will get us a step closer to achieve what we are doing when i am sharing this information with you if you're coming across my video for the first time remember to subscribe hit the notification bell leave a comment and if you have any question you can ask me down below in the comment section i'm more than willing to answer you if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much remember to turn on the notification bell so that every time i upload you are updated and i upload each and every day at 12 p.m guys if you want to book my one-on-one -on -one session with me the link are always in on the description box i will share with you uh, or i'll redo your cv and review your cv i'll have a one-on-one -on -one session with you and guide you matters on how to uh, get jobs at broad and how to and the guide to how to get these jobs and where you need to start looking thank you so much for watching this video until the end thank you so much for even listening to me and watching my videos guys i really really thank all of you if these are the kind of opportunities you're looking for in nova scotia and in canada to be specific these are the kind of opportunities you should be looking out for thank you so much and bye